Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay-Z and today I wanted to make a video talking about eight things I've done to make a huge difference in the length and thickness of my hair. One of the first and most important things that I do is I deep condition my hair every week. I use this thermal cap to add some heat whenever I put a deep conditioner on my hair. I got this from eBay and as you can see, it's sewn into different panels. It's filled with black seeds. So you're, you'll microwave it for 45 seconds, three times, and you're switching, turning the cap inside out each time that you microwave it. This is just a convenient way for me to be able to deep condition my hair with heat without having a hooded dryer. I also blow dry my hair, which I know goes against a lot of the things that you have learned about taking care of natural hair, but I've noticed that my hair just doesn't respond well when I wear wash and goes, and I've noticed a huge difference in retaining, lip, in retaining length and not shedding as much hair every week. The second thing that I would say has been really important for growing my hair is the vitamins that I take. So there's three that I want to talk about. Biotin, so vitamin D, and pantothenic acid, which is probably um, a vitamin that's not as popular as or well known as the other two. I take other vitamins, but I would say these are the three most important that have helped with my hair growth. And here's how they're all connected. So vitamin D is actually a really important vitamin and it's a vitamin that a lot of people are deficient in. And so a few months ago when I had my yearly checkup, my doctor said that I had low levels of vitamin D in my blood, which is really common. And so as I researched it, I was able to learn that vitamin D actually plays a crucial role in almost every cell in your body, including the production of hair follicles. So before I started taking vitamin D, I was taking biotin for a long time. And to be honest, I always felt like I wasn't really noticing a big difference from taking the biotin. And so once I learned that vitamin D plays a huge role in the production of hair follicles, that was like a light bulb moment for me of realizing I was kind of wasting my time in taking biotin as long as I was deficient in vitamin D. When I was taking biotin, I noticed that it would sometimes cause me to have breakouts on my skin, which I know a lot of people complain about. And so that made me feel torn. It's just like, okay, I do want my hair to grow, but I don't want to have to deal with adult acne. And so once again, I did some research and I learned that pantothenic acid, which is in the B vitamin family, will help you to have clearer skin. And so I thought to myself, I wonder if the pantothenic acid can counteract against the biotin, which causes skin breakouts. So I started taking, so I started taking the pantothenic acid, and boom! I noticed that I was no longer getting breakouts on my skin, but I was still getting the effects of the biotin. So that is how these three vitamins are related to my hair growth. The vitamin D helps the biotin to do its job, which encourages hair growth and hair thickness. The pantothenic acid helps to avoid any breakouts that are caused by the biotin. The third thing that has been really important to my hair growth is doing a henna gloss treatment once a month. A henna gloss treatment is, um, I won't say that it's a protein treatment, but it definitely does help to strengthen your hair. I've noticed that it has helped to add a lot of thickness to my hair. I know my hair is looking a little <laughs> scraggly today. This is kind of an old blow dry um, and it's starting to revert back to its curly state. But anywho, so with taking the vitamins, the biotin, my new hair is growing in nice and thick, but the henna gloss treatment is helping with the hair that is on the ends. I've noticed that it has helped to make my hair feel much thicker than it used to feel. And so what henna does is it kind of fills in the gaps that you have in your individual hair shafts. And so it helps to give the hair an overall thicker feel. And so that's definitely helped with the length of my hair because normally my ends, which are the oldest part of your hair, they would feel really weak, really fragile, easily break off. And so I would have a lot of mid strand breakage, but since I've been doing the henna gloss treatments, I've noticed that my hair feels much thicker, much stronger from the roots down to the ends. 
The fourth thing that I've been doing is eating cashews or some other kind of nut every day. Nuts like cashews, peanuts, walnuts, or almonds are excellent sources of omega-3 fatty acids, which helps you to have a healthy scalp and to help the health of the hair that's growing out of your scalp. The fifth thing that I've been doing to help with my hair growth is simple hairstyles. Most weeks, I just have a part uh, either on the right side, the center, or the left side, and I just have my hair back into a simple low bun. Probably a bad example. But yeah, I just have my I just put my hair back into a low bun after I blow dry it. I don't usually flat iron my hair and so even though I'm not wearing protective styles per se, I also try to minimize the amount of heat that I put on my hair. Whenever I pull it back into a low bun, I make sure to not pull it too tight so that I'm not causing any tension along my hairline or anything like that. So it's just a simple hairstyle that looks nice, neat, and it's not damaging my hair in any way. The sixth thing that I wanna tell you about is I massage my scalp every night. I just use this scalp massager. You can also just use your fingers, but I like to use this because it actually vibrates. I don't know if you can hear that. Maybe if I have a board, you can see. You get the idea, it's vibrating. <laughs> so it's something that's easy to remember to do since it it's something that's relaxing that you can do at the end of the day. But the added effect is it's stimulating my scalp, my hair follicles, and encouraging the hair to grow. The seventh thing I wanna tell you about is wearing a wash and go is a treat that I will only do for a maximum of three days. Whenever I wear wash and goes, it's always in danger of getting fairy knots, which anyone who knows about fairy knots, there really is no other solution to fairy knots other than to just deal with it or to cut them off. And usually I opt for cutting them off because otherwise I notice that my hair gets really tangly. One fairy knot drags another strand into its mess. And so then I end up having to cut two strands of hair instead of one. And so usually I just go on a search and destroy mission, just looking at my ends to find any fairy knots to cut them off. But that's one of the reasons why I try not to wear a wash and go for longer than three days. That's when I notice that I get the most fairy knots. And the eighth thing that I do, you guys don't get mad at me, I saved it for number eight because I know you have probably heard this a million times, but drink lots of water. <laughs> Yes, you have to drink a lot of water. I usually try to drink at least four 16 ounce bottles of water every single day. Moisture is so important to healthy hair and a healthy body in general. And your hair is a reflection of the health of your body. So that's it, you guys. I hope some of these things can help you and can encourage you to not always follow the trends because I know YouTube is a place where a lot of people come for information, including myself, on how to take care of their hair. But just because everyone is saying to do one thing doesn't mean that it's going to work for your hair. So the important thing is to try out different things so that you can decide which options actually work for you. And in my case, protective styles just weren't the answer. If this video has helped you out in any way, go ahead and share this with someone else so that it can help them out too. And while you're here, be sure to like this video. I would love to have you as a subscriber and leave a comment below on which tip helped you out the most or leave a tip for me if you think there's something that I should give a try. Until next time, bye.